I'm Besto, and this is my show, Man vs. Wilderness. I climbed the great Mount Everest. I went from Cub Scout to Eagle Scout in three days, setting the world record. And I had a world's greatest encounters with dinosaurs, where I was the only survivor out of all the people you're seeing here. In today's episode, I'll be crossing the great Mount Kansas and try and survive 24 hours and find my way back to civilization. Reenacting a plane crash, I'll be parachuting out of a falling airplane. Mount Kansas is one of the most treacherous mountains in all of the world. Whoa! I have to cut my parachute because it's stuck in the tree up there. Oh. Good day, mate. I can't see anything for miles other than trees and forests. Let's see what might be some water up there. Other than that, I can't see much for miles. It's, uh... It's pretty... It's pretty stark and uninhabited. A while, I'm getting pretty thirsty. I haven't seen water in a while. But this right there... That might be my chance for water. It's pretty dipped down. I'll go try it. Oh, I don't want to get too much because then I might get a summer cake and I won't be able to run very well. This is one time in a life experience. This right here that you can see is the rare, rare crazy wing bat. They come out once in a year and see the look at its black wings, but it's got a blue tail. That's beautiful, isn't it? It's once in a lifetime experience right here. We're experiencing nature at its be most beautiful. This is awesome. Look, it's moving! Oh, run! It's coming after us! Oh. I'm trying to fashion myself a blowgun so I can get some dinner with. But I'm heading back to camp where the rest of my stuff is. I should be ready to get myself some dinner because, I mean, it seems like the... Force is wrestling with activity and it'd be easy to find myself some good food here. I see some scurrying in the forest. I think I might have just found myself some dinner. Can you hear it? Yeah, I can see it right ahead of me. Oh, oh I think I caught it. Let me check it out, mate. Fuck oh, yeah. Got myself a nice squirrel dinner here. This should be great. It's full of vitamins and protein. Everything I'm gonna need to get through the night tonight, because it's gonna be a bit of cold night once the sun goes down. Yes. Mmm, that's a beaut. Spot for a fire here. Don't wanna cause any damage, so it's gonna be a great spot to make camp tonight. Right now I'm in the middle of some rolling plains and right close to me is a beautiful creek where I'm gonna set up my base for tonight. I'm gonna build a fire right on one of the rocks to get me through the night where I can cook my animal on. I'm trying to get the fire started here. You can see about some smoke building up if you look real closely. And squinch your eyes a bit. You can see the smoke coming up. And I should hopefully I get a spark pretty soon here. Once I get that spark, that fire should just light right up since all that stuff is real nice and dry. Should be a good fire. I need it because it's getting a bit chilly. I got a bit of a spark going here. I'm trying to get this fire started. Oh yeah, it's going real good now. Oh, it's going real good now. Oh, that's a good fire right there. That's a real good fire. It's going pretty good right about now. This is perfect! This is exactly how you want it to work! Wow, I can't believe I got so lucky right there to get such a good fire going so quickly! That was awesome! When I was in the Sahara Desert, it gets pretty cold in the middle of the night and I was lighting a fire up just like this one. And my cameraman got a little too close. And uh, he caught one of the pants on fire and he was running around everywhere. And uh, we tried to pour some water on him but... It turns out the water was actually gasoline and he uh, caught on fire real good so one of my other cameramen tried to tackle him to put him out of fire but then he caught on fire. So then we had two flaming men running around and one of them tripped and fell onto our tent and our tent got on fire. So then another cameraman ran in to get his stuff out of the tent because we had all our camera equipment in there. 
And then the tent collapsed and he caught on fire too. And then everybody died. Except for me. Because so I'm Bear Grylls. And I can take on any incident that comes my way. So, after they all died, I figured... The meat was good protein, I might as well go ahead and eat it. It's getting dark out and I'm gonna skip my squirrel. I got this fire going real strong over here. I know I'm gonna get this squirrel cut open so I can get it eaten. I'm getting a bit hungry and my stomach's getting a bit sore. Because I haven't eaten in about 24 hours. The fire's going real good, it's just, I got some strange wood in there. Every once in a while. It just goes like that and it's kind of strange. But, it's okay though. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. It's a bit gross right there, you can see it's liver coming out. And there's it's spleen, it's pretty gross, intestines everywhere. It's pretty disgusting, but that's what I'm going to have to do to, if I want food, because I'm pretty dang hungry right about now. And it's getting bloody cold, I'm going to need this energy. Yeah. See the guts right there. If you want to cut those open, you might get some poop on your food. That's not good at all, but poop doesn't taste very good. I've tried it before, when I was real hungry one time. I was out in Africa. And I ate some poop of some elephant, and that was just gross. But I'm telling you, that poop is full of vitamins, and it's good for you. Even if it is disgusting. Sometimes it's all you can do. It's just like taking the clothes right off of it. It just comes right off, just like a t-shirt might come off. Yes. China's very good, except for all the products are crap. It says made in China, then it just breaks instantly. But other than that, I like everything about China. Minus the people, except for the women are attractive. I look a little wild wildebeest. What an awesome experience you can see that right quick. Not many people have ever seen one of those right there. That's an awesome thing to get to see. Nature is so beautiful. What I'm doing here is I'm getting this stick and I'm putting it right through so I can roast the squirrel right over the fire. It'll be a good barbecue dinner for me night tonight. This is better than I did if I was at home right now. It, to get it cooked just perfectly, you gotta make sure you spin it around to get all the different angles of it right there. Because every piece of meat is a good meat right here. As you can see, it's cooking pretty fast. Shouldn't be but another 15 minutes or so before I get this baby ready to eat. Mmm, it looks delicious, doesn't it? Squirrel meat is one of the most lean and richest in vitamins of any other meat there is. It tastes great, and it's good for your heart, and it has a very long cholesterol. So, I'm very lucky to have found a squirrel here that I'm roasting over this fire. Looks, looks so good. So I'm being so hungry, I haven't eaten it so long. Mmm. Mmm, it's delicious. Mmm, it really is very good. It's like nature's candy. Mmm. Mm. Very lean too. Not very much fat in this meat. Very good quality. Mmm. This is brilliant. I think civilization is pretty close. Now that i got a full stomach and I'm warm, I think I'm going to make my way and try and find civilization because I think I can hear it pretty well. It should be more than about eight or nine miles from here. And uh, I don't want to wait till morning to do it because I have good energy right now and in the morning I might be hungry again and be lacking on energy. But right now I'm feeling pretty good so I'm going to try and make my way back towards civilization. See the lights getting a lot closer right now. Means I'm getting pretty close to bat. It's about two o'clock in the morning. I left about nine, so I'm pretty freezing cold because I lost my coat in the river earlier. And uh, I just hope I get back pretty soon, or else I might die because I'm getting really very cold right about now. Journey, I haven't peed the whole time, so I gotta pee pretty bad. Oh, feels so good to pee, especially when you're cold. I'm going to peel a little bit of my hands to keep my hands warm. Oh yeah, feels pretty good. 
When you're cold, it doesn't matter how gross it is. You just gotta pee on yourself wherever it's cold. It warms you right up real quick. Now I'm warm and I should be pretty close. Only a couple miles later, I should be there by about 3 in the morning. And we got about another hour. You can see the lights up there just on the horizon, which means I'm getting pretty dang close to it. I, I just found a house. I'm gonna go check it out. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure because I've been here one time before. When I was driving by, I didn't know this is where I was at, but I think Paris Hilton might be living there. I'll check it out because Paris and I are pretty good friends. I'll go see real quick. If that's who that is, if it is, that'd be awesome. I might just spend a couple more nights here. <laughs> 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 